Hello guys, welcome back to another idle game tutorial. This is part of the idle game tutorial series with Unity C Sharp. Um, this is episode 9. Previously I did Bimax. And today I'm going to be doing uh, some general good UI practices. Um, so if you're looking at my user interface right here, it's not very good. Excuse me. <laughs> um, so we're not going to be going off of this today. We're going, oh my gosh, what do you want? <laughs> um, we're going to be going off of my game. Crypto Clickers. So if you've heard of Crypto Clickers, I've been, let's ignore this error. It's, I'm, I have Unity 2008-19. It's a bu buggy. Um, so... I've been remodeling this, I've been changing the UI, I've been learning some new things about how to manage UI, how to do a good job, how to make it display well, and I'm still improving. It may not be perfect, my advice may not be perfect, and some people may may agree with my, or agree to disagree with my advice. But uh, my goal is to uh, just give you some tips that could make life a lot easier, I guess, and make it easier to read on the eye. Alright, so first we're going to start with colors. So make sure you have a really consistent color theme. So you can see my buttons here are really consistent. Um, we're going to play the game, just so you guys can see. Since I really don't want to like disable all the canvas groups. Um, so yeah, we have purple. Um, we have a yellowish. Just to give it a more vibrant color, I guess. Not vibrant, but a different color. Do we have an error? Yeah, I had a feeling we had an error. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, it's really laggy. Alright. Okay, we fixed maybe. <laughs> um, ignore the errors, but basically what I try to do is keep the game on the main page and then keep menu stuff to the side. So we have like our achievements, we can access to the menu, it's really fast and easy. You don't want slow and sluggish animations that go from left to right, which is what the old clickers do. We need quick stuff, so you can just access stuff from boom, 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 settings. Okay, I want to go to that. Um, yeah, so see how my color theme is really consistent, it looks nice at the same time. There's nothing too much going on. So that's kind of the whole goal. And page changing there should be no transitions uh, ignore that um it's kind of hard to see when i have things unlocked or things locked but um keep color a key of unlocking something so for example oh why is it doing this this is really annoying i can't show you but basically do i put the clippers please tell me i put the clippers Oh, uh, okay. This is embarrassing. Um, uh, honestly. Oh, okay. So anyways, basically, if you are able to unlock something, you have enough currency to buy an upgrade, make sure, like, you change, like, a, like, notify the user, like, how are they supposed to know without looking at the tabs? Instead of th just jamming everything on one page, make the text, for example, generators light up green. And so then the user is like, oh, I can buy a generator with my whatever points. Um, I don't do that with upgrades because that's pretty much one of the most common pages you are on. So you're just either here or here a lot. And the same can be done with anything else, honestly. If you've unlocked something, notify the user, put like an explanation mark or a tool tip or change color of text or something like that. Um, so prestige system. Now I like to display my numbers big so you're like, ah, this is what it looks like. It makes you uh, loud and proud, basically. Um, this is not what it's supposed to look like. This is supposed to be green. But what I like to do is, instead of sticking to the color theme, just use the generic red and green. Whenever the multiplier on reset is red, don't reset it. If it's green, then reset it. It really depends on your prestige mechanic, though. But what I do is, if this stat on hard fork, which is the prestige system, is greater than the current stat, it's red. If it's greater than it, then it's green, which means it's safe to prestige. Um, always use um, a confirmation on stuff that you could potentially use value. Um, 
for example, Prestige. There should be a confirmation no matter what. Because you can just accidentally click that and boom, there goes your progress. Um, regardless if this multiplier right here is less than your current stat, please use your, your confirmations. It's really useful and people will love it. And if they don't, then settings. It's really useful. So I have my Prestige animations. I have speed confirmations. I have all that good stuff. Um, all right. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Um, yeah, back to the pages. Make sure everything's not crammed on one page. It just makes it easier to read because it makes everything complicated. Um, I don't know if you saw earlier, but there's a server button here. This is unlocked by completing a challenge. Uh, let's show it. Why not? See, based on, see, again, back to the color theme. I haven't used any of this color, so I was like, you know what, why not use it for the server? I thought it turned out pretty good. So, when an upgrade is completed, we want to, again, alert the user that we can't buy anymore. Um, Alright, so we're going to do this. We're going to turn this off. Oh, wrong thing. We need to change this to zero. Change this to one. Canvas group basically just toggles everything without disabling all the scripts inside. Um, let's see. We need to change our color. Uh, in my code, it changes to this color. So this is what it looks like on Max. So whenever an upgrade is completed, it changes to this color. And uh, all the text changes as well. So this is a good way to just know that... So the new... Blah, blah, blah. This is a good way to show the user that you completely bought all the possible upgrades for that certain. Also, sorry if I'm talking really fast or if my voice kind of sounds weird. I got a spring in my braces a week ago, and yeah, it's just hard to talk. Um, so yeah, that's just a really good recommendation to make sure people know that their upgrades are bought. Anyways, let's turn everything back to normal. You know what, since while I'm at it, I can show you the generators and stuff. Alright. Drones is nothing really special, so I'm not going to show that. And generators is just um, another list of upgrades. Same. It's pretty easy to read. The cost is... Um, the cost is there. Um, let's see. You I have my buy max. I have my buy. If you remember the previous episode, I was talking about drones. I have this other buy max in this page. Uh, it's very helpful. But mm, I don't like to display everything on one button, kind of like how we've been doing here. It just doesn't look nice, honestly. And tabs for buttons, honestly, they don't look nice to me either. I think. Just as long as it looks like you can click on these texts, then it should be good to go. But I need to work on that because these look like text, honestly. And less more like buttons. But yeah, use buttons that look good, not too bulky and colorful. Just something basic and something that opposes the generic um, theme. So also another thing, please stick to a, a darker theme. No one likes bright games just shine bright in your bright in your face late at night it sucks okay so i stuck to a dark purplish tint um and all my text is completely opposite it's all white it's easy to read and it's not too eye rape you know so don't do a white background with dark text it's just not good at all that's just one of my um major recommendations for you it's kind of like if you're on Discord and everyone's complaining about the light theme, you'll see why. It gives you a headache. Um, okay, so this is not really user interface. Uh, I need to go back to my game. Um, but this is good for mobile users. Um, for battery saving. Make sure you have a target FPS. So I have 30, I have 15. This basically just changes the V-Sync to that. And your options are 16, 30, 15, 120, and I'm not sure, but I think there's 144. But that doesn't matter, so make sure you have those. Um, 
Also, you could see that there's this little bar for wherever I go to page. These are also good to indicate, oh, this is where I'm at. Either change the color or just have something to indicate that you're currently on the prestige page. Um, these are some minor things, but the it'll, it'll, it'll really make things look a lot better in general. And make sure you don't have too many numbers clamped together because it makes... It just gets really lost and confusing. Space things out. You have a whole screen of space. Um, don't do it too much where, you know, you have the claim button on the upgrades or, you know, the claim value and stats or something. Just, you know, use your space efficiently. That's the number one key for using your user interface um, as good as you can. And if you need to add more buttons here, go ahead. Just don't add too many because I have a sixth one and I'm starting to consider making like, you know, an arrow right here, an arrow right here where you can just click to the next one or another drop down. Drop downs are also a good idea. Um, but yeah, don't cram everything into one page. It just doesn't look good. But you want to space things out, but you want to make it fast. It's simple. You want to be like, okay, upgrades, boom boom you know you want to be you know fast about it you can change pages fast click upgrade by max ethereum claim upgrades by max boom you know it's pretty easy to like navigate um i was gonna say something about the speed oh yes so in my game i have improving where once it hits level 10 you can reset it to give it two times boost but you still keep your value it's just the cost doubles or whatever it is same for value 2. Speed 1, however, there's 38 upgrades. It's displaying as 10 for some reason. And whenever it reaches 38, you can reset it to get a 10 times boost. But you lose your speed. So that is a good factor or a good time to add a confirmation. Because you're losing speed. Instead of clicking super fast, once you improve, you're clicking really slow again. But you get that boost. So you just add the confirmation, people like them, and again, you can disable them in settings if you add them. Anyways, I think that's all the tips I have. Make sure you have uh, thick, uh, bold fonts, nothing too thin. I wouldn't go any lighter than what I have because it it's hard to read for some people. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for user interface tips and stuff like that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in episode 10. Make sure you subscribe and you um, turn on notifications so you know when I upload the next tutorial. And thanks for watching. Peace. Yeah. Got me in this party all up in a zone. Hottest Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you off me. Keep it moving. They ain't worth it. Yeah, that's what my father taught me. But for now, I'm going through the motions of letting go. Because my mind's telling me yes, but my heart really don't know. Your heart went dark out of nowhere, yet I still see a glow. So we had the hottest love. Why'd you leave me in the cold?